Okay, I am done uh, doing pretty much all the tempering that I am willing to do, which was pretty much all that I could afford or had items for. I did pick up a couple more crystals uh, trying to farm for lucre so I could afford to craft a few items. So I do have an extra point in the Nux and the Flail. I also have an extra uh, point in terms of my level with them. Now, I did misspeak a little bit about how many crystals it would take in order to get a perfect build. Now if you're just going for Loki, uh, you need uh, 8 weapons, so 31 times 8 for the weapons, and then if you want Misa as well, you just need uh, the one uh, weapon for her, so 31 additional if you want uh, an additional well, her to be perfect, I guess you could say, as well. In terms of the armor, it's a little bit different. Um, everybody only has four pieces of armor. So, Loki can uh, get his Orichalcum Helm. Uh, you can get Crystal as well. I just want the Crystal armor. That is fine. No charm, by the way. Very nice effect. Uh, you can get um, an effect that will make it no wimp I believe they call it and if you have no wimp status on that means you cannot use the tiny tapper anymore so you'll have to craft another helm that's something you want to look out for uh, I believe that the crystal helm does that uh, so when it comes to the amount of crystal that you need in order to get Loki uh, fully stacked it's 31 times 4 for his armor and Misa also has four. Uh, they share the gloves, however, she wears a hat, a rope, and sandals, where Loki wears uh, the boots, armor, and helm. So if you want a perfect build, I mean, you're talking about, I believe, nine plus eight, so 17 times 31. That is a ton. That is, I believe, over three, 400. Over 400 crystals, and you can only have 99 at a time before you temper again, so good luck with that. Now, I do need to address the last side quest that we have here. If you remember, Chekhov here told us that he wanted to get uh, to see wisdom cards or summon cards. I, I, I forget the phrasing that he uh, particularly used for that. That is not something that I can do. I cannot complete this quest. I even looked tried to look up game shark codes to see if I could finish this quest. As I think I had mentioned before, in order to get amigos in the game, you have to find somebody else with a physical copy of the game with a Game Boy Advanced, and you need to trade amigos with them using a cable, a, an actual physical link cable. Now, I can hack the, the summon cards into my game. That, that's something that GameShark can do for me. However, Chekhov checks your Amiga list. He does not check whether or not you have the summon cards. So, I cannot complete his quest, unfortunately. Now, when you link with Amigos, uh, when you get one link done, one Amigo on your list, you will get an item known as the Amigo Flute. Now, the way that the Amigo Flute works is it works once per game day. So, let's say it's Dryad Day, I would need to make it Jin, and I used it, I would need to make it Jin Day in order to use it again. The way that the Amigo Flute works is you, um, you use the Amigo Flute in a battle. So, if you have it, you can only use it in battle. It will summon everybody from your Amigo list from the sky, and they will well, they'll fall on your enemy, pretty much. You can kill a ton of bosses, enemies, using this strategy if you have the right Amigos, especially if you have a perfect build with crystals, a level 100, and you have him on your Amigo list. Uh, that would be great. I believe you can do upwards of, like, thousands of damage with that. It's ridiculous. As far as the cards go, there are seven cards that you can get uh the seven wisdoms as they're called unfortunately i don't have anything to show with this so it's just going to be a little lengthy explanation from me um actually 
I will hack those into my game, so just I, so I can show those off. Uh, this is, you know, the first time I'm going to be using Game Shark. Don't get me wrong on this game, um, and I'm not going to be using them in battle because I didn't earn them truthfully. But I will uh, bring them in so I can show off what they do. Okay, here are the seven uh, sets of wisdom cards. The, it looks like the code that I got gave me 99 of each of them. I don't think that's right. Either way, I'm, you know, I'm going to reload a save so like this never happened. I'm not going to keep the cards on hand. I just want to show you guys what they look like. I'm not going to even be using them because I don't really want to show you. No, you know what? I will, I will use them just so you guys can see what they look like. Uh, now this Wisdom Selva you get if you get five amigos on your list. How are you supposed to find five people who also have sort of mana that you can find in real life? I don't know. I don't know how they expected you to do this, but that is the first card that you get, so they're expecting you to get a ton more than just five amigos on your list. Let's go ahead and summon Wisdom Selva. And down they all go. Now that did quite a bit of damage there, as you see, and that's the weakest one, so we're already doing pretty damn good here with the summon cards. They have spawned again, it is time to destroy them yet again. So now I can use, oh, huh, interesting. Uh, so even though I have 99 of them, it disappears. Uh, like I said, I've never had the cards before, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how this works. Uh, po that was uh, Salvo, which does do wind damage. This is Pokeel, which will be doing fire damage and anybody it doesn't kill it will inflict the fireman status on them let's go ahead and use this and show it off go poke you and down goes everything as you might expect i don't care what's in the chest because i'm not going to be keeping anything that i get here because i have cheated and therefore I feel bad about myself. Please respawn so I can show off the next summon. In order to get Pokeel, you need 10 amigos on your list. Do you see how much more this is going to be over the time? Okay, Tote is up next. Tote uses water damage, so it's like Undyne, and it can cause Snowman, um, oh, sorry, it will cause Snowman anybody that it doesn't kill, but I'm sure it will kill everything here. Let's go ahead and show that off. In order to get this one, you need 15 amigos. And they are resistant to it. Interesting. And okay, now we're just down to one guy left. So let's go ahead and summon Rosioti. Rosioti. Interesting. For Rosioti, uh, you need. 30 amigos so you need to find 30 people that have a copy of this game and have a link cable and have the game with them so that you can trade your amigos list with them now technically i believe that you will take their full list so if they have 10 amigos on their list uh you can transfer those 10 onto uh all 10 of those onto your list as well so you don't technically need to find 30 guys you just need to find one guy with 30 guys on his list already but that is a ridiculous thing to ask if you ask me 30 and we're not done yet rosioti come rosioti will be using wood magic interesting that was just weird if you ask me. Like I said, you can only use this once per game day, so uh, each one of these. So if I want to use these again, I would just have to leave the screen and come back when it's the next day. Please show up again. We have more cards to show off. Now we'll see Albon? Albon? Albon, in order to get him, you need 50 amigos on your list, and then you'll get this guy. He attacks with the power of the moon. Um, Rosioti, by the way, will cause sleep, and this guy will cause wimp. Interesting.
and it didn't do anything for it didn't do anything for me and I just got stoned you are not helping me out game not helping me out in the slightest let's use the a second to why can I use them again apparently it just missed either way like I said I've never used the cards before so I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here it's time to use Gaia though in order to get Gaia you need 75 amigos on your list I don't know why I don't know why a uh, guy of course uses earth magic anything that doesn't die will be petrified hopefully if it works and down they all go as Misa heals herself now we just have one more to show off, and considering that the last two required 50 and 75 amigos, any guesses as to what the last one is going to require? Please show up so I can show it off. They have shown up. Very nice. Summon Matilda. Matilda uses light, I believe, and, it, and will charm anything that doesn't die. Now, in order to get Matilda, you need a hundred amigos. You need to find a list with 100 people who have played the game. Now, technically, you could find one guy with the game and have him play a hundred times, and each time he plays, you, you get him again, and that will add to your amigo list. It doesn't have to be necessarily a new... Um, a new game it just has to be a new character so to speak so you could do it that way but I mean if we're talking about finding a hundred amigos I mean realistically if, you, if you're looking for a hundred people on your list you're gonna have to know 50 people with this game give or take that is a ridiculous thing to ask I don't understand why you would put an item like this in the game and this is the only way that this game is multiplayer. They promised multiplayer on this game when it first came out, but there is absolutely no way to do multiplayer. The Amigo Flute and these cars are the only things that even come close to multiplayer in this game. But that is enough of me complaining. Let's show off Matilda, the most powerful summon in the game. For 100 Amigos, it better be worth it. And it didn't do anything because these guys are immune to it. That is the summon cards, though, unfortunately. And that is what you get for having, you know, up to 100 people on your Amigo list. Like I said, that is a ridiculous thing to ask. Now, I, no matter what I do, even, even with these cards, right, I still have the cards. I have all seven of them. The guy here, Chekhov, he only asked for one. But like I said, he doesn't go by what's in your inventory. He looks at your Amigo list. So he still will not admit that I have the cards and that he has seen them. That, that is good coding, to be honest with you. That is a good programmer, whoever came up with that. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't work out so well for me because, well, I, I can't show off anything, really. So I'm going to reload an old save where I don't have these cards. And I will meet you when we can finally move on. We are done with all the side quests. I've shown off almost everything in the game. And I think it's just time to finish the main quest. Oh, no, 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 wait. I forgot. This guy would have given us another piece of poetry from Little Cactus back in Hot House. So, let me recite the poetry for you, even though we can't see it. And it won't show up in the diary unless I use another game chart code, which I, I don't like using game chart codes if I don't absolutely have to. So, Seven Wisdoms, this quest is called. Seven Wisdoms. Seven Wisdoms? I've heard that name before. I thought that there were only six, but now they've added more. Yes, apparently there is Matilda, who is probably the seventh one. We are done here, though, and it is now time to move on with the main quest. I think it is past time, but it is time now. <laughs>